Hey you guys, it is Friday, October 2nd, and I don't think I've mentioned it here. Well, I mentioned it in my last video. I was going to be releasing a journal on October 1st, and everything fell apart uh, because Amazon is still reviewing my journal, my submission that I submitted at the beginning of the week. So I'm currently on hold waiting for someone to pick up so that I can talk to them about it. But today's video, I have my headphones on and the music is distracting me. But um, today's video is going to be a day in the life of a writer. I will be doing my chores because today I want to clean and I also want to plan my social media calendar. I also want to see if I can squeeze in a little bit of writing for my journal, I mean for my next my journal, my next book release and also dealing with this whole situation of the book that I'm releasing or the journal that I'm releasing that is still under review. I'm trying to find out what the delay is. So if that's the kind of video you guys want to see, then keep on watching and yeah, let's jump right into today's video of me doing my chores and just living my life as an author. So I don't know about you guys, but I always start off in the kitchen first. The first thing I'm doing is actually loading up my dishes. The dishes were full. I didn't start it the night before. I don't know why, but yeah, that's where I always start cleaning first. Yeah, I was calling to find out about a book release that I had for October 1st and the book is still under review. I want to know what the problem is because I submitted it way in advance and I'm not sure what's the hold up. Okay, so I just got off the phone with Amazon. They say there's is a book should have been released yesterday. It should have been approved. There's a delay. There's quite a bit of books in the queue and she can't tell me when it's gonna be approved. She's just gonna send an email to the technical crew and hopefully they'll get back to her or they'll get back to me letting me know what the, you know, when they expect to review it. The good thing is that there wasn't any problem with the book. It was just that they're behind. So now we just wait. So back to the kitchen, then the bathroom, then dusting, then vacuuming, then back to work. And back into the kitchen we go. It's time to clean off the sink. Those were all the coffee grounds from this morning. And I just wanted to show you guys this next, all these things, these cleaning products or disinfecting products were all things that we bought for my husband to take to his gigs so that he can be a little more protected so that we can um, avoid maybe getting COVID again. And look at my coffee bar. Isn't it so cute? Oh my God. I love my coffee bar, you guys. Yes, I did clap. I don't know if it came on on video or not. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys my living room. <laughs> um, you guys don't know this if you don't follow me on Instagram, but I bought furniture and the furniture company that I bought the furniture from totally misled us. They told us we bought it in August. They told us everything was in, that it was going to get delivered and it wasn't delivered. Only partial delivery was ha happened a month after they promised it was going to be delivered. Then when I called in about the rest of the information of the furniture, they said that it wasn't going to be until November, end of November. So I ended up returning the furniture. Now I don't have anything in my living room except my coffee table and our fireplace and our TV, obviously. And um, <clears throat> anyways, we did go to Rooms to Go yesterday and we did buy new furniture and that's supposed to be coming on October 14th. So right now I'm going to be without furniture for a week and a half. My curtains are shorter because uh, the couch was right here and therefore it hid the length of the uh, curtains. So now I have to go get new curtains because obviously I don't know if you can if you can see it because it's dark, but I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Anyways, I need to f get longer curtains because obviously that doesn't look right. <laughs> so new curtains and new furniture is coming. I'm just waiting. Just wanted to show you guys the update. I did get a new fireplace though. This is the best thing ever. It's so cute. 
So now this is my room. I am not done setting up my room yet. I have a few things that I want to get. I want to get drapes, a rug, and a bench, and a vanity set to put up my diffuser, and to put all my tarot cards and my uh, oracle cards, just so that I have a nice place to just have it all. We are done cleaning. I am lighting my candles and I'm just showing you guys the fireplace again all lit up because it's so cute and my coffee bar in my kitchen is all done and now I'm ready to work. So I've just showered, getting ready to work, but before we're going to have lunch, I'm going to show you what we're having. We're having leftover chili from the night a couple nights ago. So delicious. And after that, it's work time. And now lunch is over, it was delicious, and I'm heading into my office to get started for the day. I do have a few things that I want to do, so let's get into my work day. So what I'm doing right now is my book, Falling For You, is on sale on Kindle for 99 cents over the weekend, and I wanted to promote it on Instagram, and I'm looking for the trailer for some reason. I don't have it on my computer, so I was trying to download it from YouTube. Anyways, it all turned out fine, and now the next uh, frame you're going to see is me sharing it on Instagram. And now I'm basically doing the same thing, but I'm sharing it on Goodreads. I've learned so much about Goodreads. I want you guys to make sure that you subscribe to the channel because next week's video is all about everything I learned about Goodreads. I did a blog. If you are an author or if you're a writer and you want to someday publish a book, this is a video you don't want to miss. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now I'm working on my social calendar, basically just for Instagram though. What I decided to do is I decided to create a post for each day of the week. Sunday is manifesting. Mondays will be for YouTube. Writing tips will be on Tuesdays. Book promotions will be on Wednesday. And on Thursday, I will be giving writing updates or publishing updates. And that way I know exactly what I need to post each day. Now, I my writing quotes I usually get from a different place and I'm going to show you guys how I do that next. I usually go to Goodreads, type, you know, quotes from writers. I find one that I like, I copy and paste it onto Canva. On Canva, I just go and find an Instagram blank uh, post. I copy the quote that I just liked from Goodreads and then I fix it to match my font, my desired font that I usually post quotes in. And then I download it and save it and share it to Instagram with my own narrative, like all the things that I think about the quotes. And you know, I typically ask a question what other people are thinking about the quote as well. Next, I'm moving on to writing that blog for the video that I already recorded regarding what I've learned about Goodreads or how to use Goodreads as an author. You have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and watch that video and read the blog. All right, you guys, it is three o'clock and I think I'm going to call it a day. I just wanted to give you guys an update as to what I've been working on. I'm working on a blog to go along with a video that I already recorded on a webinar I took on how to sell more books using Goodreads. If you are a writer, you need to make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss out on next week's video. I learned so much about Goodreads and not only did I record a video, but I also did a blog for you guys to just 
absorb in, <laughs> absorb all the things that I learned and it was a lot. So yeah, um, I'm just going to take off the rest of the night. Uh, it's Friday night. My husband is working, so I'm just going to chill out with my daughter and the babies and have a good old Friday night. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. As you guys know, the algorithm on YouTube works really well when you give videos a thumbs up because it shows that it's, you know, you guys like the video and that others might like it, so they will share it. And if you do that, I really appreciate your support on my channel. Uh, make sure that you're subscribed because again, you don't want to miss next week's video and that is it I'll see you guys again in a brand new video in a couple of days and until next time stay safe